Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to introduce you to the final step of the accounting cycle known as the post-close trial balance. So this is going to be, according to my version of the accounting cycle, the ninth step of the accounting cycle. It is also the final step of the accounting cycle because at this point we have recorded all the regular journal entries. We have recorded adjusting journal entries. We have produced financial statements and we have closed our temporary accounts to our, per to our permanent accounts, bringing us to this final step which is really just a safety net. It's a check step to make sure we don't have any errors before we start the new accounting period. So this is going to be the third trial balance that we create. We started with what we call the trial balance, which is an unadjusted trial balance. We then did the adjusted trial balance, which contained the effects of all the adjusting journal entries. Well, right before this, in the eighth step of the accounting cycle, we do closing journal entries. So this post-close trial balance simply is going to update to reflect the impact of those closing journal entries. And those impacts will be very specific. They're listed right here. Retained earnings will be updated to reflect ending retained earnings. Every other trial balance shows beginning retained earnings. Once you've hit post-close, you update retained earnings for ending retained earnings. And as a result of that, or as part of getting to ending retained earnings, all the revenue accounts have gone to zero, all the expense accounts have gone to zero. That's your closing entries that accomplish all of this. This is what's gonna change. Nothing else, no other asset, liability, or equity account will change from the adjusted trial balance because what you end with in terms of assets, liability, and equity that's what you're going to start with next period. So those don't change just because you did some closing entries. And of course, the real big purpose, like I said, this is kind of your safety net right at the end of the accounting cycle. Check that debits and credits are equal to each other so you at least feel like there's no uh, noticeable error going on. All right, here's your example. Here I have an adjusted trial balance. Notice it's got some assets. It's got some liabilities. It's got some equity got a revenue, it's got some expenses. The post-close trial balance, assets, liabilities, and the equity other than retained earnings completely unchanged. Everything in black completely unchanged. In this case, if we look at our service revenue and we look at our expenses, we would calculate that we have a net income equal to, let's do some quick math on this one, it looks like $26,000. What's going to happen is as part of the closing entries, all of this revenue, all of this expense becomes zero. And notice they've been blanked out on this trial balance. You could literally just leave these lines off. They're zero. They don't even need to be there. Also, as part of those closing entries, that net income, the difference between your revenues and expenses, that net income has transferred into retained earnings. So notice retained earnings has now gone from beginning retained earnings of 22,000 to an ending retained earnings of 48,000. Once we've done that, we wanna retally our totals, make sure that debits and credits are still in balance. And if they are, we are done with our accounting cycle and we move on and start a new accounting period. As a refresher, here is what the entire accounting cycle looks like from start to finish. Now that we're at the end of it, it's worth kind of uh, revisiting. Accounting cycle starts off with economic transactions. So that's the actual business activity that occurs. That activity gets journalized. The journal entries get posted to the ledgers. The ending balances in the ledgers get assembled in what's called the trial balance or the unadjusted trial balance. Based on whatever additional information you have about revenues and expenses during the period, you make a set of adjusting journal entries, and then you reproduce the trial balance, known as the adjusted trial balance. You use the adjusted trial balance to prepare your main financial statements. Once you're done with that, you close out your income statement to retained earnings. After you've done that, you prepare the post-close trial balance like we saw here, and you are ready to start the cycle over in a brand new period.
That is the accounting cycle in a nutshell. All right, hope you found this helpful and I hope you join me for another video.